Okay, so in this video I'm going to cover a few problems you guys have been having with the wireless penetration uh, tutorials that I've been doing from uh, not being able to find your, your wireless interface and uh, chipset uh, in Kali Linux in your VMware workstation when you're running a VM uh, going over monitor mode and making sure uh, network managers and things that may cause problems are uh, are killed uh, so we stop those processes um, and testing injection to make sure that your card uh, supports injection so that you're when you're following the tutorial that everything goes smooth uh, so first of all uh, when we start our tutorials we want to put our card into monitor mode so we issue the command airmong dash ng and you can realize we have nothing showing up well if you're running VMware workstation and you look here in the bottom right hand corner there's a little uh, faded out USB icon well this from here we can connect and disconnect our wireless card uh, from our hosts uh, operating system so in my case right now if you see when I plugged it in my Windows 10 operating system uh, thinks that the uh, the alpha card is connected to it so I wanted to connect it to the Kali system so we'll right click this icon the USB icon say disconnect from host click OK and what this is going to do is it's going to disconnect it from the Windows 10 host machine and then now connect it to our Kali Linux in the virtual machine as you can see here the the icon is now lit up and we should be able to see it. All right. So if you're still having the same problem, what we can do now is we can just unplug the USB cord on our Alpha card or whatever card that you happen to be using, plug it back into the computer, and give it a second. It should automatically connect now to the Kali system. As you can see here, it's lit up again. We'll issue Airmong NG. All right. We'll issue Airmong NG again. We'll give the card a second to connect. And as you can see here, we have our interface, our WLAN 0, and our card is connected to the Kali system. Um, one more uh, thing that you guys are having problems with is you're issuing commands, uh, say for AeroDump or AeroPlay when you're doing the attacks, and it's saying that the interface doesn't exist. So our card isn't yet into monitor mode but if I were to try and issue uh, arrow dump and then uh, pretend that the card was in uh, monitor mode and I'm trying to use a interface that doesn't exist this is the error that some of you guys are having so if you're getting this error just issue the command airmong ng and make sure that you have the appropriate interface that you're trying to use so we can go ahead and we can put our card into inter uh, monitor mode. And now that we issue the command again, you can see now we do have the appropriate interface and that we won't get the error above. You can also see that uh, we have a few processes that are running that may cause problems and we want to make sure that we kill these processes so we can kill them manually by saying kill and then the process ID number so say 1925 and we can kill that process or we can speed up the process and issue airmong ng check kill and it's going to stop any processes that are going to cause a problem so now we can go ahead and we can continue the attacks and the tutorials that you guys are following. Another thing we should do if you're still having problems and none of these are are covering your problem so far is test the injection of the card. So we can do that with Airy Play. And we're going to use either TAC TAC test or just TAC 9 to test injection and the equal and the quality. So we can go Airy play dash ng tac 9 and our interface it's going to uh, it's going to scan for access points around us and it's going to let us know if injection is working 
So as you can see here, found two access points. Injection is working. It will tell you no injection if your card isn't supported. And it's going to give you your injection rate. So 30 out of 30, you know, 100%, 100% again here. Don't worry if it's not exactly 100%. just means that the access point may be uh, further away and not every packet got to the access point. For some of the attacks, we need to have connected clients. So when we're doing specific web uh, attacks, we need to have clients to generate a data packets so we can get the initialization vectors to climb for the data. Uh, for WPA, we need to have a client connected so that we can deauthenticate the client and have them reconnect so we can capture the four-way handshake. Uh, a quick and easy way to see if there's clients connected to that access point before specifying with arrow dump is sometimes in the uh, in the bottom list here. I'm just going to go ahead and stop this with Control C. We can see that we have a BSSID and then a station MAC address also. So what you can see is this is the MAC address of an access point, and then it happens to be, if I'm correct, right here. So bad day two. And then this station is a station that's connected. So we can see that Bad Day 2 already has a connected computer uh, on that access point. So if we wanted to do the WPA, uh, WPA2 attack on them, we have a client. Uh, not everything is going to show up under this list here. <coughs> you may actually have to specify uh, like the Millers and see if there's a computer connected to it, uh, for example. But this just gives you, you know, closer heads up and stuff like that. Uh, the ones that say not associated are computers that have not yet connected to an access point but are broadcasting out saying hey is uh, the Miller's 5 gigahertz network around I want to connect to it. Is MS Home around I want to connect to it. So these have been networks they've connected to already and uh, this makes it a little easy when you want to do the uh, the rogue uh, access point attack so we're setting up the fake AP and having people connect to you for a man in the middle attack. Anyways, these are a few things that I wanted to show you. Um, we can also check out um, on Aircracks NG's site is they have a compatible wireless card uh, thing that you can read. So you can find out, you know, determine your chipset, your drivers, if anything needs to be patched, updated, or if your card is going to, you know, support injection or not. So. Alright, well that's it for this tutorial, or just a helpful video in general, so uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you.